All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Silver State RC Adventures. I am your content provider, Trevor. And uh, we are here to go over the unboxing of the new Element Enduro Trail Runner 4x4. Just got it today, picked it up from my local hobby store, and uh, so far I'm pretty happy with, the, uh, with how it looks. Let's go ahead and we'll start breaking the seals and look into the box. showroom floor, which opening up the first flap here gives us uh, that answer. Go ahead and turn around the box here for you, slide the truck out, and let's see what this thing looks like. It does look just like we wanted it to. Beautiful. Nice white uh, trail runner, or should I say maybe a, a newer numeration with the word runner after it. Uh, here's the bag here. Got our owner's builder guide, which does look like your Haynes manual or anything else that you would uh, go buy at a local, uh, local Pet Boys Auto Zone. O'Reilly's, whatever's in your town. Uh, all their fantastic stickers we've known them for so far. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I do like the presentation with the slanted uh, bottom here to kind of give it a uh, looks like I'm going off road already appearance. Let's get her out of the box here and uh, keep going over it. You will find uh, the remote control and all of the extra goodies under the box as well, uh, which I will install at a later date because I do kind of want to take it out to make it look like a brand new truck. Um, and then it uh, looks like, uh, you know, I'm building it up little by little as a mall crawler weekend warrior type deal. <laughs> but uh, the uh, stock rock sliders there look really cool so far. stuff before they record it. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, this thing is definitely a uh, big difference in the weight category compared to uh, a good Suge Knight over here. Right here, we are going to try and keep significantly light, but um, I already did make a bad decision <laughs> or a good decision, we'll see, uh, with the SSD wheels, um, SSD brass ring locks, and SSD brass hubs. Um, which, doing the math, all three are you know, all three items, uh, you, you know, all put together assembled before uh, foams and tires comes in at 2.04 pounds, uh, just in the wheels alone, which. Ideally, it's nice because it does keep all uh, the weight planted in each four corner, but this being a more scale uh, truck right here with 1.55 wheels and tires on its stock, um, I will be jumping up to the 1.9 wheels with class one tires, um, but I am trying to keep it decently light and more of a trail truck compared to a more crawler trail oriented truck I have over here. Um, 
but I mean, yeah, this truck just looks great. We'll go ahead and get some of these uh, plastic protective stuff over it. We'll get the shell off here. Take a look inside at all the nice electronics they've given us, which I will re be replacing at least the servo and the receiver because I do have a ProTech 370 TBL uh, going in for this and I have another Spectrum SR515 receiver to go in to use my DX5 rugged with, uh, which surprisingly I'm enjoying very well uh, compared to a lot of people's gripes and opinions online. I have found none um, and do enjoy it. But I will try possibly the stock remote and receiver first with everything just to see how it is box stock, just to give you guys um, a little bit more of an analysis of it to see you know, what it's, what it's doing out of the box because upgrading to a receiver um, and transmitter uh, other than your ready to run stuff does make a huge difference in you know, how smooth uh, you get to control the vehicle with. But yeah, we'll see what you know how good the stock electronics do first, uh, just to you know kind of see what they do. Uh, this is going to be one of those things uh, where the first fall is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt this truck, most likely. But. As we all know in this hobby, uh, things are going to happen. <laughs> That's all the fun though. Build, break, repeat. Shell is uh, actually pretty light for what it is. Uh, much lighter than the PRX4 Sport body, uh, which actually looks really light, but surprisingly has a lot more weight than this one does for being a more SUV style compared to a truck body, uh, but yeah, very cool so far. I do like the uh, plastic uh, rear window spoiler. I like the uh, even the nice window decals. Uh, it gives it a nice kind of like uh, untinted look to it almost, with a slight tint. Like maybe you said you just you know did like a thirty five percent tint or whatever you did to it. But it's even got the uh, defroster lines here in the window, which I find very fascinating. Uh, you actually do get a red third brake light. Very nice. Uh, license plate already equipped with the Trail Runner stickers, the tail lights, nice rear bumper applique here that is uh, plastic. Plastic over fenders, uh, fuel door sticker. We have uh, rubber door handles as well. A nice sunroof up top there. Very nice. I'm really liking the detail to this body already. Uh, we do have windshield wipers already installed on the body as well, uh, right out of the box. Looks like there's only a few things to really do, like the uh, the mirrors um, and such like that, obviously just for boxing purposes so they don't break off when they're shipping and everything, but all in all, I am very impressed with how this thing looks right out of the box. I love this plastic grill here, uh, you know, all those little decals on it make it look pretty skilled and detailed so far, which is very nice. Um, you know, it even gives you a little black one right in the, uh, the hood there, you know give you that fake hood vent look like most vehicles produce nowadays. Um, Alright, we shall set that there. Um, the chassis, well, as you guys are well aware, uh, a lot of Element owners are already in the knowing of what this is going to look like. We do have a higher rear body post just for the SUV body style here. Um, other than that, uh, I've seen it in other videos and um, some posts by Element. All the plastic is already the hardened plastic that's upgraded so you don't have to worry about that um, you know say like you had the older ones and they started producing all the stronger plastic you don't got to go out and rebuy all that stuff just in case the things start breaking obviously things will break but that part will come uh, part I was curious to see was this nice uh, licensed magna flow uh, exhaust that bolts onto the rear here I do like that detail. I might get a silver paint marker and uh, just do the tip there just to kind of give it a little bit more scale realism. But other than that, I think it's very cool. It's got the uh, Magnaflow logo right printed on the muffler down there as well, which is very nice. Very light truck. This chassis is unbelievable already. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, I've always planned on getting an element. Uh, doing the IFS swap. Um, actually, right when I was planning to do the purchase, I saw the first post from 
element uh, introducing this, saying that it will be releasing in about a month or so. So I, uh, I made the pre-order, and here we are. So I don't have to do all that work. It comes right off the box like that for me, which is pretty cool. I know some people do enjoy doing the work, but uh, you know, um, I've been doing some RC stuff for a while now, so I do know just by the looks of it, how it's going to go apart and taking things apart, putting them back together just seems to be easy for me. So I know others are different, but at least for me, if I could take it apart, I could put it back together. Uh, everything looks good on this. Nice uh, element skid plate for the front right here. Got that going on. Uh, just a very cool scale IFS setup on a truck, you know, with the rear link. Four link setup, solid axle, IFS in the front, just, I've been waiting for something like this just because, you know, most most modern vehicles are equipped like this now. Um, you know, I've seen some now, uh, like the uh, new Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk 4x4, that is four-wheel independent suspension off-road vehicle. So, it'd be curious to see if RC tries to follow the way of the world as well, just to try it out and see if maybe someone wants to go crazy and try an independent suspension crawler on all four corners, which, eh, you know, people would have their opinions about it, but I think it'd just be cool to see. Um, it's put together very well on here, very, very well organized. Everything is just, you can tell the attention to detail they wanted to do for focusing all the weight on this chassis just to make it right where it all needs to be just out the box it looks like it's very well planted that front end just gives you so much nice movement when you're just mm, you know the rear end's gonna gonna do what it does for the most part it's gonna just be moving in one solid piece um, until you start getting into some you know some crazy stuff like that off the rear end or coming up on something up here um, but it just looks so cool that'll flex all the way up like that let's see how far we can try to get like that most instances it's not going to allow you to get full compression unless you do some tuning uh, which i will be toying around with um, i do i did purchase all the different spring uh, rates for this so i can try all of them out because i do plan on loading this up with the rack accessories um, i had the yeah, racing scale trailer that will be arriving tomorrow to be towing behind this as well. Um, yeah, the future is bright for this car and it's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, shoot some videos for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully I do a much better job and, uh, you know, it's all a work in progress. We'll keep that going. Uh, the stealth tranny, um, I do plan on keeping the stock gears. Uh, just keep it more trail oriented, just to have that 5% or whatever uh, overdrive it was stock out the box. Uh, but I think that looks good. You know, we have a little shafts right between here for your your drivetrain. Drivetrain looks pretty stout right out the box. Uh, won't have the issues of uh, twisting and binding all these splines on my, you know, like I did with my T-Rex 4. Uh, but hey, whatever, MIP makes great replacements, so I'm not disappointed. Uh, this nice battery tray up front is going to be cool. I have some mini... Uh, 2S Gen's Ace batteries that'll fit in here that I actually use for my drift car, uh, which will work beautiful in this. Um, looks like we have a Dean's plug there out the factory, which is going to get replaced with an XT60 because I do have all of Gen's Ace Adventure Packs um, that I use for my, my crawler over here. So I do plan on using those in here. I uh, just need to swap out the Dean's for a XT60 plug. Um, and if you haven't checked out those Gen's Ace, um, adventure two, you know, either two S, three S uh, packs. They are fantastic. Uh, when this thing was weighed in at about fourteen pounds, um, I'm still getting four plus hours of runtime on one battery, and I still haven't even depleted one battery in one run in one day yet. So um, that makes me happy. Um, it just knows that uh, the other ones that I bought for backup um, are just going to sit there still for quite some time until uh, Pro Life by the Fire comes around and I will have a whole bunch of charge ready to whip out a lot of vehicles I plan on bringing there. Um, which stay tuned for all of that footage uh, once we get to October and all that nears around. But um, yeah, so far I do like this. This is very cool. 
you guys are going to love this. Uh, I'm pretty sure some people have already had it a couple days earlier, depending on, you know, how often your post office got your stuff to you there. But uh, let's cut into the bag here. We'll go over some of the graphics and the instruction guide that come along with it. We'll go over some of the extra pieces there, too, because they did say it's going to include uh, the housing for the solid axle uh, swap if you plan to do that. Um, and I think maybe a couple other components. Um, I did find out that the stock steering knuckles in the front work with the IFS and the solid axle, so that's good to know. Uh, it's just less parts you got to worry about buying. Uh, really curious about this sticker sheet though, because I love stickers and I like making my bodies look cool. Um, even though this one's kind of like, eh. Um, and don't worry about the slash body, that one's actually got a really cool body coming along. I'm uh, just dragging my feet on it. Uh, but it's going to have some cool stickers, everything. Uh, I am enjoying this. You do get a uh, window sticker here, so you can place that right on the side of the window here uh, when you apply it inside uh, the box there once it's all unfolded to make it look like the dealership showroom floor it was purchased off of. Uh, we've got all different types of decals here that are all kind of like a TRD off-road oriented but obviously for licensing rights and for it being an element it was the cool idea to go with the ERC off-road idea which I think is cool. Uh, we had some method race wheel stickers, some S-Pods, we had the uh, stealth training stickers, some Reedy for the electronics, some other uh, Magna Flow stickers. It uh, looks like we have window banners there. We have some decorative uh, decals to add on the side there to kind of give it that uh, uh, TRD or uh, uh, off-road package, like 400 look you can get, or the TRD Pro off-road, stuff like that. Um, obviously, the uh, Scale Builders Guild sticker, ours are funnier, which was a, a nice little uh, funny they made with each other. Uh, we also have a do not wash scientific dirt testing and process, which uh, would be very interesting to throw on the bumper. I like that. Um, another one here says, watch out for the idiot behind me. Yeah, yeah, watch out for me. Uh, I don't know where I'm walking half the time. Uh, you can go fast. I can go anywhere. Very true. Very true. Um, I, I do suffer with that issue right now with my Civic Si that I drive. <laughs> Uh, even though this is a stupid sticker, you're still squinting to read it. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, another one, we did a thing with a smiley face. Uh, <laughs> uh, the fun begins where the road ends. Uh, Three-wheeling IFS suspension, you know, for people that, you know, live the IFS life, you know what three-wheeling's all about. Uh, but yeah, just lots of cool stickers ready to go on this truck. I do, I am really happy. Very worth all the money so far. I mean, this is such a cheap kit for all that you're getting. It's just loaded with good stuff. Uh, but yeah, here's uh, another look at that owner's manual. Looks very cool. The back end, very cool looking as well. Let's see what else it looks like they might have slipped in here. Uh, oh, looks like it just unfolds a little bit more. Goes over some details, but yeah, just uh, inside it's going to look yeah, just beautiful pictures in here. Just, you know, so much detail. Uh, it's just crazy. Um, and also, if my cat got the way there, don't mind Nikita. She is the ninja princess of the house and does whatever she wants, I guess. Snickle Prick over here, uh, it's my best friend. You will see him in a lot of videos and pictures. Uh, but, man, just. Yeah, you know, really the detail they go into about just breaking this stuff down is very nice. So you will be thoroughly impressed with this kit. Everything that comes along is just fantastic. They, they knocked it out the park with this. This is one company right here that is listening to the consumer and hitting everything right on the head. Um, I see that being obviously a very su successful formula on how to run a business because our input is going to help their profit and future, uh, but you know, not all input is always good. Uh, some people do have some ideas that are a little outlandish, kind of like my four-wheel IFS crawler uh, RTR kit I'm thinking about. <laughs> all right, so we will check out some some electronics here. Get that giant roll of the stickiness.
Thanks, T130 remote. Very nice. Uh, I actually might give it a shot because uh, it does look like it does have a lot more adjustments on here than anything I've uh, ever used RTR out the box. Um, you have a throttle steering trim. You have a throttle steering right here. Uh, we have steering throttle reverse normal if you need it. We have three channel right here for your uh, crawl control, I believe is what it was that people were using it for, maybe something else. Uh, and then we have your EPA max minimum, you know, our left, right, right there for your three channels. Um, yeah, but, you know, you can max out steering throttle right there, everything. Everything looks just really cool little remote out the box. That's cool, you know. It's a little sport wheel there with a uh, disc caliper setup. Foam on there is very stiff. Very nice. Doesn't feel decent throttle. Uh, decent pull. You know, very smooth though. Uh, not like a lot of the Traxxas ones that I get where they kind of get like this little sticky point. They'll stick there and then you always gotta like flick it and things like that. Yeah, you know, it's always a hassle. That's why I went with the uh, the rugged route. That way I could finally ditch those controllers. Uh, you do have your third channel button up here as well to control whatever you've hooked it up to. Uh, I think some people were talking about a winch or something that you can do or whatever out of the box. Uh, I'll take my word for it though. I didn't do too much looking into that portion. Uh, we do have the binding plug here just in case you do need to do some rebinding of any sorts. Uh, we don't have to worry about that because like I said I'll be upgrading. Uh, you do have the instruction manual for your XP130 transmitter as well. Very nice, very nice. Okay, next we will be moving on to all of the new uh, or extra accessories they had on here for you, just in case the stock look isn't good enough for you. Of course, we never leave any of the stock though. Car guys. Alright, here we do have the bigger battery tray. Uh, some extra gears there for your stealth transmission to do the different overdrive settings that you can do. Uh, yeah, very nice there. Components. Very good. Hmm. Uh, my favorite accessory I can't wait to really throw on. Or, oh yeah, yeah, this is it. <coughs> it's very strange. We have this, my bowl. Ooh. This material is very nice. Uh, tough smile. Very good, nice, uh, nice surface space there. So when I go to throw some E6000 glue on here, it's really gonna keep a keep these out of the body so you don't lose them. Uh, I found that working very well for all these Traxxas mirrors and everything hanging on. Everything's all E6000 glued on and perfect, honestly. Can't really say anything bad about E6000. Everything will pull off when you need it to and you can wipe away all the glue and it looks like it was never there. So that's always a plus. But yeah, we do have the snorkel. It looks like that will be going and equipping here. Um, is there anything else on this? Nope. Oh, just got a bunch of, oh, maybe, I don't know. It's got a bunch of numbers listed on there, but there's actually nothing connected to them, so we'll just ignore all that. Uh, up next, yeah, what I was uh, waiting, waiting here for, I was gonna get the uh, roof rack. So we'll slap that roof rack on there, give it that nice, uh, nice look. And then we have the bully, uh, the bully bumper at first, and then here's the two outside pieces that you can connect onto there to give it the full bumper that you have seen in some of the Instagram photos and stuff that people have uh, posted up. Uh, you will have the Fairly there for your uh, winch. We have some D-rings there to put on the bumper as well, which seem to be very flimsy and weak plastic, so don't really attempt to pull anything uh, too strong with them unless you uh, decide to upgrade to aluminum or whatever. But, yeah, that's very uh, very nice. This material is very good. It's almost like a rubbery plastic, so it's gonna take up well to some abuse there. Uh, 
this one here is going to have some extra body pose there for you because as we do know these will break if you flip it enough. Um, up next here we do have some rubber o-rings looks like we have some guides just in case to keep some stuff in place there I'm not sure exactly what it's for yet but I will find out and I could update you guys later point uh, some extra screws some extra body clips you know things like that extras extras are always nice um, and then we have the lights here for the front bumper when you equip that um, it will have a receiver plug you can put that into, I'm assuming, there's probably a third slot there, which at one, another point, you can probably turn on and off with this. Uh, we'll find out. We'll give it a shot, but like I said, I am upgrading to uh, Spectrum, so, yeah. Nothing else left in the bag. It looks good. Um, let's uh, maybe do a rough going over of this box and see if we can try and make it look a little pretty for you while it's in the video instead of trying to do it at a later point for you. Uh, so just bear with me, you know, I could speed up at one point over the editing or you can just watch me look like a slow fool over some time because, well, hey, let's face it, a lot of these people fast forward their videos nowadays and everything, so you just get to see all the good stuff right away. So let's slow down life a little bit, huh? And just enjoy the unboxing. Very cool that the sliders do have a slot for obviously new truck trying to find out where the new uh, where the body posts are. Bam, all right. Fascinating way to figure out how to get all of this on, huh? Mm. Just move around a lot. That's very fun to put on. But yeah, the side of the body does lock into these rock sliders, which is very cool. I just screwed all that up. Just no front and rear bumpers will do that to you. Go ahead and throw her just off to the side here for one second. She'll be out of camera view. We'll bring her back in. No worries. I'm uh, pretty sure you can see my cats at this point just lounging around, which is pretty fun. Fritz and Nikki, you guys enjoying the unboxing? Well, all right. Don't show too much enthusiasm now, guys. too excited going over everything I forgot that I was looking for those. Okay, we'll get her looking pretty in the box for a little bit here while we go over this. I suppose it's just trying to figure out how to correctly do this without screwing you up the first time, huh? Looks like...
So by looking at the box, you look at, um, let's see, back of the box right here, for it shows uh, an actual tile floor right there. Uh, same with the top portion up here where you will find the actual front of the truck. That would be the floor as well. Uh, it looks like on these next two corners will be walls. So um, I really don't want to go uh, too crazy with the box yet because I don't want to screw it up. Uh, I'll look that up here in a second um, and then I can probably go over a better video here of uh, how it goes together to show you guys as well. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed this video over the Enduro. I know I'm not like as thorough and crazy as some of these other guys. Uh, they're going to produce much better videos in detail than I can. But you know, I just wanted to give you guys at least a good rough look of what this truck is coming out of the box like. And well, I will tell you guys, you are not going to be disappointed at all. This is a phenomenal kit. You know, for the price point you're paying on this, you're not. You're not getting shorted at all. Uh, you know, it's just like the TRX4 Sport Kit um, or the RTR. I felt that it was just a great purchase. Everything comes in the box so well here. Um, but yeah, very good, very good. I just removed the minute from the light. But yeah, thank you uh, for tuning into my first video to show you guys my face. Um, be sure to spread the channel around, like, subscribe hit the notification, share it, everything, all that good stuff. Uh, I can only progress uh, by input, uh, so I do appreciate feedback, um, criticism, all that good stuff. Uh, they help me progress into making better videos and showing you guys better content, and uh, a little bit how we do it here in Las Vegas with all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the future with a first run of it tonight.